Hello and welcome to this demo. In this demo, we would be talking about creating triggers. So triggers are basically statements that are fired automatically when some sort of an update or delete occurs. So uh, you could create some triggers which could be fired when a say insertion occurs over a particular table and you may roll back the particular transaction or so on and so forth. So uh, there are many types of triggers. So we'll be covering them one by one. Let us just start off with a very, very simple example in which um, we create a trigger which actually does the job of rolling back a particular transaction when any insert occurs. Right. So the syntax for creating a trigger is pretty much simple. So it starts off with something like this. Let me just create a new query. Create trigger and you give a trigger name so let me call this as demo underscore trigger and next what you need to give is you need to give on which table should this trigger be created so I'll call it as SQL demo calculated column the table that we just created I think we created this one demo compute and Next you need to tell it after what particular operation should this trigger be fired. It can be delete, it can be update, it can be insert. So I'm going to go with insert for now. As and then you start giving what should happen when this insert is triggered. Right. So for now I'm going to keep it pretty much simple. I'm going to say something like if there is an insert. I'm going to print insert not allowed and I'm going to roll back the transaction. Pretty simple. Right. So I'll just create this trigger. Okay. So I forgot the end statement. So our trigger has been created for now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and insert something to this particular table demo underscore compute in which we have just created our trigger. Right. So insert into demo compute values say x y z something right so it has printed this particular message that means this trigger was fired when I try to insert on this and the transaction has been rolled back so if I just have a look at this table right now it is not going to have the values which I just supplied right so uh, this is one of the types of triggers that you could make the other one basically involves uh, database level triggers, right? That is, you could call it as a DDL trigger. So there the syntax remains pretty much the same. You could, um, you know, restrict a database from, you know, creating tables to a particular database or deleting tables from a particular database. So these triggers would be made at a database level. Uh, the syntax remains pretty much the same, except for a few changes. You say create triggers, demo underscore db trigger there's any name you could just give and then you got to specify that I'm going to make I'm going to make this particular trigger on the database so I use the keyword on database after create underscore table so whenever a table is going to be created on a particular database this trigger is going to get fired on that as begin and I'm going to write something like print creation of tables not allowed and I'm going to roll back the transaction we will be talking more about transactions in the coming demos well end this go 
so i've created a database level trigger over here now if i try to create a table create table say demo underscore db trigger and let me just give it a column bar carrot 50 for now that is enough if i create this we're going to print this message creation of table is not allowed and it has rolled back the transaction so effectively when you try to create a table over this database this trigger was fired and it restricted it from creating the table by rolling back the transaction